Why can't we hate men? Because it's likely a man that contributed to your reproduction. Likely. I don't know. Could have been a hentai birth, depending on how true to reality porn is. What? You're telling me that Asian titties aren't naturally that large? My whole life is a lie? What else is true? There's not supposed to be a dick in the pizza box when the pizza man comes to the house? That's fucking news to me, mate. Is that it? The plumber is supposed to check my pipes? Not my pipes? <laughs> Next you're gonna tell me that Twitch thoughts have no talent. No. 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 Let the demonetization process begin! Susanna Danuta Walters, a professor of sociology and director of the Women's Gender and Sexual Studies program at Northeastern University, is the editor of the gender studies journal Science. So, we obviously know based on that that this will be an objective take on the problem that is masculine. I mean, patriarchy. It's not that Eric Schneiderman, the now former New York Attorney General accused of abuse by multiple women, pushed me over the edge. <laughs> edge. We were just talking about porn. My edge has been crossed for a long time. Before President Trump, before Harvey Weinstein, before mansplaining and incels, before live streaming, sexual assaults, and red pill men's groups, and rape campus, a tool of war, and the deadening banality of male prerogative. So obviously, in the true fashion of toxic femininity, you've let this steep for some time now and fester into something so explosive and emotionally driven that you no longer acknowledge reason and sense. <laughs> Seen in this indisputably true context, it seems logical to hate men. I can't lie, I've always had a soft spot for the radical feminist smackdown, for naming the problem in no uncertain terms. Ugh. A true red femme, not a poser. Brilliant. I love it when they get exceptionally screechy, it reassures me that I'm doing something right by contrast. I've wrinkled at the, but we don't hate men, protestations of generations of would-be feminists, because no true Scotsman, am I right? And found the, men are not the problem, the system is obfuscation too precious by half. Sure, it's an obfuscation, but not for the reason you think, madam. But of course the criticisms of this blanket condemnation of men from the transitional Feminists who decry such glib universalism to us, women of color who demand an intersectional perspective, are mostly on the mark. Mostly because while she might be a rad femme, she has not wholly invested herself into that ideology. She's not stupid, goys. She's got one toe out the boat ready to bail if things go south, and a whammy bad person makes the news with any relevance to the public space. Like a, I don't know, shoots up a YouTube headquarters or has sex with a minor or something. Or maybe she's making an exception for the truly heroic males of their kind, the betas that call themselves male feminists. Let, let's take bets in the comments section. What do you think she's talking about, gents? These critics rightly insist on an analysis of male power as institutional, not narrowly personal or individual or biologically based in male bodies, growing movements to challenge a masculinity built on domination and violence and to engage boys and men in feminism are both gratifying and necessary. Please continue. I feel a butt coming on, so you know what that means, gents. But this recognition of the complexity of male domination, how different it can be in different parts of the world, how racism shapes it, should not, must not, mean we forget some universal facts. Lay on me, what facts you got? I'm curious. I love being informed. Pretty much everywhere in the world this is true. Women experience sexual violence. Yes, and so do men. Not to the same scale, but it does occur. And the threat of that violence permeates our choices, big and small. Not really. I don't really think about it that much. It's like a non-issue for me because I've never been violated sexually or abused physically in a way that mattered to me. Usually I just respond in kind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, 
shall we? Hold the phone. In addition, male violence is not restricted to intimate partner attacks or sexual assault, but plagues us in the form of terrorism and mass gun violence. Simple solution. Get a gun. I can't believe this house is teeming with guns! Guns kill! Oh, guns kill. Is that right? Well, let's see about that. Okay, gun, kill. Go ahead, kill someone. Don't be shy. See? Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Guns defend people against people with smaller guns. Again, though, women also partake in these things, though. What, 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 what catch-all explanation do you have for them? But, uh, let's be honest with ourselves for a second, and this is a thing that everyone from the alt-right to the rad femmes don't seem to acknowledge, is that while there is a certain number of people in a condition of action that are more of a part of a demographic than others, in this example, that would be men typically sexually abuse more than women do, or black people commit more crimes than white people do, or that women are overwhelmingly the demographic that murder their um, kids in bathtubs. The other fact that everyone seems to be so ready to jump up and ignore is that those males who commit sexual abuse, and those blacks that commit crimes, and those women that permanently christen their children, maybe a little too aggressively, they make up a minority of their own respective demographics. They do. Honestly, you can check. I can't believe that I have to say this, but people who do truly awful things to other people intentionally are outliers in the population. In fact, the, the attitude is evolutionarily hardwired into our brains to not hurt them. It's called empathy, people. You have mirror neurons in your head working around the clock to fire simultaneously when you see an action being performed by someone else. Example. <laughs> you flinch, cringe a little bit, look away maybe and shiver, maybe grab your leg or whatever. You have mirror neurons to thank for that. The reality becomes your reality, ipso facto. You feel what they feel on some level, which is called empathy. It's what makes us social creatures, and it's what gives us a moral dilemma about grabbing some poor fuck's head and smashing it into a window on impulse. But now here I found myself on a tangent. Let's continue down this rabbit hole of fucking tree. Women are underrepresented in high-wage jobs, local and federal government, business, educational leadership, etc. And that's their choice and preference to not take up STEM fields and leadership positions, mate, or go into government roles. Y you know where men are underrepresented? Nursing, social work, primary school education. Is that because of patriarchy? Are we going to say that that's an issue? No. No one gives a fuck. Because no one should give a fuck. It all is, it's all about will. The person's autonomy, decisions that they make for themselves in their own life. Why the fuck should I care if other women aren't going into STEM, but I am? It, it makes no sense to me. Wage inequality continues to permeate every economy and almost every industry. Well, when you are, I don't know, say maybe a professor of sociology and a director of the Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies program at Northeastern University, you're not exactly discouraging that perpetuation, are you fam? I'm sorry to say this, Susanna, but your entire existence in the professional world is part of the problem in regards to that, hun, so sucks to suck. Women continue to provide far higher rates of unpaid labor in the home. Example, child care, elder care, care for disabled individuals, housework, and food provision. Simple solution. Then don't have kids, care about the elderly, or the disabled, or clean your home, or ever eat food from a grocery store ever again. I don't know what to tell you, mate. If you don't want people to do this, then don't do this. If you don't want a discrepancy, the simple thing that must be achieved is just simply to not do something or to do something in contrast to what people are already doing. Simple fucking math, man. Women have less access to education, particularly at higher levels. That's bullshit. Look, see, I have a graph, and there's a link in the description to this graph if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Not only is this bullshit, but it's intersectional bullshit, too. How about damn apples? Spanning across every racial demographic. Hm. Light green is female, and it's larger than all of them. You're not very good at this math, stats, logic, and reasoning thing, are you? Maybe that's why you're in gender studies and sociology, because of incompetence. Hmm.
women have lower rates of property ownership. While that may be true, it should be noted that single women were buying homes at 2.5 times the rate of single men in the 2016 study by the National Association of Realtors. So that won't be much of an epidemic for very long, uh, for very much longer if the women's wallets have anything to say about it. Therefore, it's a non-issue. The list goes on. It varies by country, but these global realities of women's economic, political, and social and sexual vulnerabilities are, well, real. Indeed, the nations in which these inequalities have been radically minimalized, Iceland, are those in which deliberate efforts have been made to both own up to gender disparities and to address them directly and concretely. So, Iceland is the apex of ex exemplary gender dynamic modification, the country with less than 500,000 people in its population, and, and, and with origins from the whitest of white people in uh, being Nordic and Gaelic. Interesting that we look to the whitest of nations for clarity in what must be done to satisfy our feminist overlords. Just a thought. <laughs> so, in this moment, here in the land of legislatively legitimated toxic masculinity, it is really, is it really so illogical to hate men? I can think of a few other important critical examples, chief among them that they make up 50% of the population, and that, that completely usurps the supposed overall purpose of feminism, which is to battle sexism on all fronts to achieve total gender equality. But I digress. Silly me, I'm not a gender studies intellectual. Educate me, please, Susanna. For all the power of hashtag me too and the hashtag times up and the women's marches, only a relatively few men have been called to task. I've yet to see a massive wave of prosecutions or even serious recognition of wrongdoing. Well, you see, there would be, if every single one of these instances and allegations were actually serious enough to warrant such outrage. But they're not. Take Aziz Ansari, for example, whose victim just had disappointing sex and regretted it afterwards. No, we're not going to prosecute based on how pathetic a woman's sex life is. Thank you very much. On the contrary, cries of, witch hunt and the plotted resurrection of celebrity offenders came quick on the heels of the outcry over endemic sexual harassment and violence, but we're not supposed to hate them, because hashtag not all men. I love Michelle Obama as much as the next woman, but when I have gone low for all of human history, maybe it's time for us to go all Thelma and Louise and Foxy Brown on their collective butts. Phew, lad. That's some next level dismissive generalizing bullshit, mate. And I do hate a generalizer. And it's also the reason why you have your own episode of Biggest of Bigots dedicated to you, Susanna. Because you are a shameless, unapologetic, sexist misinterest. The world has little space for feminist anger. Women are supposed to support, not condemn. Offer support, not dismissal. We're supposed to feel more empathy for your fear of being called a harasser than we are for the women harassed. You're not supposed to do anything. You can do fuck all, madam. That's the beauty of autonomy and free will. And I think the thing that you are willfully ignoring. We are told he's with us and hashtag not him, but truly if you were with us, wouldn't this all have ended a long time ago? If you were, if you really were with us, wouldn't he reckon that one good way to change structural violence and inequity would be to refuse the power that comes with it? Yeah, if maybe this was all black and white and battle of simple beans, but it's not. It's nuanced, and it's complicated, and not everyone has the same opinion as you, Susanna. And they don't have to have a Y chromosome to have a different opinion than you, Susanna. Fancy that. Example, me. I don't agree with you. I think the Me Too movement is a, it's, it's a fucking witch hunt, and I'm a woman. So how big of a hole does that blow into your entire worldview, fam? So, men. If you really are hashtag with us and would like us to not hate you for all of the millennia of woe you have produced and benefited from, start with this. Lean out so we can actually just stand up without being beaten down. Any woman who needs a man to do anything for her, example, lean out, whatever the fuck that means, in order for her to do anything subsequently is part of the problem that they themselves have perceived. Isn't it the cornerstone of feminism that you don't need no man? Or are we throwing all logic to the wind with this opinion piece? Pledge to vote for feminist women only. Well, that's fucking sexist, and no. 
don't run for office. That's stupid. Don't be in charge of anything. Don't be in charge of anything. Then who would police our streets at night, conduct scientific breakthroughs, and pick up your fucking garbage? Step away from the power. We got this. I'll believe that when you've changed your tires, oil, oil filter, and air filter, and brakes. And please know that your crocodile tears won't be wiped away by us anymore. I thought it went against the whole concept of toxic masculinity for men to cry though. They have every right to hate you. You have done us. Wrong. Who the fuck is we? I have never been wronged by any man in such a way that it would significantly detriment me in any way. Hashtag because patriarchy. It's long past time to play hard for team feminism and win. That that whole last collection of words was just ugh. This entire article is what I will show to my daughter one day in reference to how not to act. And my son in reference as to what to avoid in a woman. Because it's like six degrees of crazy in a handbasket case deluded fucketry. If you like what I'm doing on my channel, please consider checking out the links in the description to all of my shenanigans. That's including the Teespring, the Amazon wishlist, and the Patreon gents. If you like what I'm doing, maybe, but not necessarily that much, that's totally cool. You can always like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. If my voice sounds like I have been smoking 10 packs a day, that's because my throat is closing in upon itself. Jet lag is a bitch.